See, actually, I just made one example for time impact analysis today. So we can able to see. Actually, we can able to compare two different things. Like we can able to see the finish dates. So as per the delays, na we are getting like twenty day differences. So in this twenty day, we can able to like split into like excusable, non excusable, or whether compensable or non compensable like that. Correct. Uh, so this is very simple. So this we can able to make use of baseline, but uh, this is like just copying the project and then analyzing uh, like putting delays. So it is good now. This is the original project. I just copied that and then I'm putting the delays. So as per the okay. delay, and we can able to see the critical path changes and then the float also changing. Exactly. What? See, this is like a kind of delay, but it is not going to affect the project. So still we have two days float. So this no okay. need to put uh, any cost or any time because this is okay. like okay because it is within the float. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. So like this you can able to compare. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we can move forward from report, right? Yeah. Then we are in the export and import section. Export import section exactly. Project utilities correct. Yeah. Okay. Really <laughs> sorry for today. Today my son is also with me, so he uh, might make some <laughs> noises. So you were little or big one? Uh, he just three years old. Ah, uh, okay, still little, yeah. Still little, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so for import and export, now you're supposed to go to file menu and where you can able to go for import and export. For example, now I'm just showing export first, and later we can able to import. Okay. See, for example, this project now I'm just going for export, so we can able to like export for this kind of versions and with with this kind of like uh, formats. Okay. Even we can able to choose the versions. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> for the client requirement or the uh, like whom you are sending, you can ask them like which version or which format they want. Then you can just uh, export and then you can send them through email. And this okay. option came from the file, right? Ah, uh, file menu. File menu. Okay, correct. Yeah, but sometimes now you will be getting lots of inbuilt options. I'm just going for next, and it is asking select the type of data to export. We can able to export to any one of this, not everything, only project or resource, something like this. So separately, separately, you need to like export, and you can send if you want as a whole. No, actually, if you're considering project, even the resource and everything, it may come. But only resource needed, only role needed means then you can just go for resource. Resource only, role only like that. See, it is like having two uh, two projects open now. Nah? So that's why if you don't want any one of that also, you can uncheck and you can just go for. Yeah. See, I, it will be saved in the, this file name b02.xcr format in documents. So this is as simple like you can finish. So it will be the the export was successful. So it will be there. Correct. Yeah. So again, you can just go close it, and you can able to import in some other EPS if you want. So we can try here. So process plant, and I'm just going for. So you supposed to file and then uh, close all. Hmm. I'm just closing all the open projects. <clears throat> now we don't have any project now. So that's why it is the project uh, menu also invisible. Now I'm just going for file and then import. Now I'm just going for XCR format, so you can able to choose any one of this format to import. Uh, XCR and then go for next. So you can just go for project. The same options it will come. See again, we can able to select the like uh, the file. Where we have to yeah. See just just now we have created na so this one so <coughs> coming. Open next. And then we can able to select what all the things we need, and then go for next. Please click on import to field to select an EPS for all. Uh, so import to like you can select the EPS. Mm -hmm. So from here you can just go for MP4 na. So MP4. Where is that? Here. Uh, NL4, NL4, PP4, and then just uh, click assign. And even here also, we can able to just go for PP4. Mm -hmm. So and then go for next. Then uh, up, update project options. 
So import configuration of update option may be saved and reused. This define the action to take an imported data. So please choose which layout configuration to use during the import. You may also add remove or modify layout. So you can able to just uh, modify this kind of layout. So, so okay. one thing, Hari, uh, in the previous instance where you selected this uh, EPS, yeah, so like uh, let's say if uh, I'm a client and I, if I'm receiving any uh, program from my contractor side. Okay. And this full contract, full program, my contractor made it, and now he's sending me. So should I have to uh, make the EPS first before importing his program? Ah, yeah, because if you want a separate EPS, then you're supposed to create the EPS for this, and you can select here. Otherwise, you can't then import it from here. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we, I have to make one EPS first before yeah. importing any program, any new program. Yes. Okay. Okay, so create new project as a new project. We are just going to import and then uh, okay. So it's still please click on import to field. Yeah, we already selected now, so it's just gone. Yeah, so yeah, go yeah. for next and then go for next, and then you are ready to import to begin. Click the finish button. So once you click finish, it will be imported. Okay, it's already imported. The import was successful. Uh -huh. See, you can able to see here. Just you can right click, you can hold control and you can go for right click open project. That's it. Then the project uh, menu also will be open. See the same we have imported. Same project as well. Yes. <clears throat> so this import export is as simple as that. Even you can try importing and exporting to Excel. So it will be in sure. Excel, you will be having multiple sheets and you can able to like color or you can able to do some uh, you can able to play with the fonts and everything, font styles and everything. In Excel, we can do many. And then we can, and then we can import that Excel sheet here in the primary. Right? Ah, we can able to import the same also. But again, you will be having some option for that also. See, when I'm just going for export, so we this can. tool, the Excel, so only one format, like we can't able to choose any version or something. So Excel as X and then go for next. Then you can able to select whatever you want. This is very simple. But once you're going, you can able to like uh, read everything and you can select only the activities needed or only the expenses needed. So whatever you want, you can just go for. And even you can select them here. Uh, like this, then the Excel will be open. For example, I'm just going for both now. Mm -hmm. So even you can able to select the template. For example, new, I just created. So where I'm having this kind of columns. Correct. So if you want some other column as similar like here, like start, finish, note resource. So I want some other like what we can say. So I'm just going for float also. So free float, it is in duration. Na? Okay. So I'm just selecting total float and then I click OK. Now I'm just going for next. So we are choosing this template now. So it will be like exported to the Excel and where we will be available with those informations that we have selected before. And then finish. So review the information below and click finish. So you can able to review and then export was successful. So we can just go to documents and we can able to open the Excel sheet. These two. Uh, these two, yeah. Right click and then open. See, it is like coming as a two, two, two separate projects because two different projects, man. Two different projects, I think. See, it will be like this. So you can able to modify if you want. So it will be like uh, somewhat like uh, it will be like this. And then where you are available with information, now this is the information we need. Exactly. Yeah. And again, you can able to just import the same like using these files. Uh -huh. If you can just import it back in the Primavera. Yeah. Then they, we will be available with the same options. Like uh, you can just go for Excel X and it will ask you to select which file to import. And then you need to select everything like as usual, like before what you did, you're supposed to do that. Amazing. See from here, because this Excel one day having activity, otherwise <coughs> everything will be like uh, there. Yeah. So anyway, now I'm canceling now. We know now how to import. Yeah, it's okay. Correct, correct. Yeah.